please uh, please pause this video and take a second just to read through the uh, through the word problems just to get a sense of what they're about and when you're done uh, feel free to unpause so these are word problems dealing with fractions and uh, and percents and they're a little bit tricky because they're throwing a lot of information at you when that's the case, when you have a lot of uh, things to think about, it's helpful to make some sort of table or uh, diagram before you start making equations. And so this type of question, actually, this type of word problem, um, is uh, the best way to deal with this type of word problem is to make a tree diagram to lay out the information before you, uh, before you tackle the question. Before we go through these questions, just let's think about how do you know that this is the type of word problem for which to make a tree diagram? Well, it's actually very straightforward. If you have a fractions and percents word problem and you see the keywords uh, remaining or remainder, so not a remainder number properties question, but a word problem with fractions and uh, and percents and you see the words remaining or remainder or rest of uh, you're most likely dealing with a question that uh, where it's where it's best for you to to tackle it with a with a with a tree diagram uh, the way you do it is you first uh, start with the total at the top start with the total and then you just make sure to uh, draw all the branches branches. So let's take a look at these questions and go through some of these questions with a, with a tree, di tree diagram to see how it's done. So in this first one we're told that Roger is selling all 280 of his comic books if he's already sold three quarters of his comic books to his neighbor and one-fifth of the remainder to his best friend. How many comic books does Roger have left to sell? This is a word problem with fractions and the word remainder in it. So we're going to use a tree diagram. We're going to start with the total and say, okay, well, uh, the total is 280 comic books. This is what we, uh, this is all of Roger's comic books. He sold three quarters. So I'll make one branch for what's sold. So it's three quarters of 280. This is what's sold. Uh, which means that one quarter or one, or one fourth of 280 is not sold. So three quarters of 280, uh, or rather, 280 is 70, so 3 times 70 is 210. One fourth of 280 is 70. Now, uh, he's already sold three quarters of the comic books, which is 210. That means that 70 are not sold, and one fifth of the remainder of the, of the stuff that's not sold, so one fifth of 70, uh, uh, he sold one fifth of the remainder of that 70 to his best friend, so this is the, what goes to the best friend which means that four-fifths of 70 is what's, uh, what's left to sell. And the question is, how many comic books does Roger have left to sell? Well, it's four-fifths of 70 times 70 is 14. So four times 14 is 56. And the answer to this question is 56. What we've done was just start with the top. And any time that there is some sort of breakdown given, we write all of the branches, in this case, there's two branches each time. Let's take a look at the next one. Let me just erase this. So the next question says, Jacob bought a box of cupcakes. He ate one third of the cupcakes on Wednesday and three quarters of the rest of the cupcakes on Thursday. If he ate nine cupcakes on Thursday, how many were originally in the box? Um, well, again, a word problem dealing with fractions. And we have the keyword, the rest of a rest, meaning we're breaking down uh, stuff into, into something in its opposite, which is why the tree diagram is helpful. Let's start by making, uh, let's make the tree diagram. We'll start with the total. The key is we're not given the total here. So when you're not given the total, but you are given an actual number, you should start with a variable. So let's say that there's X uh, cupcakes in a box. He ate one third of the cupcakes on Wednesday and three quarters of the rest. So he ate one third of X on Wednesday. And that means that two thirds of X are remaining. That's the rest. 
and then he ate three quarters of the rest, or three quarters of two thirds of x. This is what's eaten on Thursday, and um, one quarter of two thirds of x is what's, I guess, remaining. That's not eaten on Thursday. And we're told that he ate nine cupcakes on Thursday, which means that this has to equal nine. So three quarters of two thirds of x equals nine. How many were originally in the box? We're solving for x. So that means we have an equation here that we can just solve for to get for x. So we have, we'll cancel out the threes. Uh, this becomes one half. So what we have is one half of x equals nine. Multiply both sides by two and we get x is equal to 18. And so that's the answer to that second one. Again, if you have a fractions question with uh, the keywords remainder or rest or remaining, it's helpful to make a tree diagram the way we just did. So let's do one last one, which is slightly trickier. So the reason it's slightly trickier, if, you've, uh, if you remember from reading it, is that it actually doesn't contain these keywords. Uh, most of these tree diagram questions are going to contain these keywords, but sometimes you'll encounter one where, uh, where it won't, but the pattern is the same. We are splitting a total into groups and subgroups. Um, the other reason this question is a little bit trickier, as you'll see, is that it doesn't give us any actual numbers, just percents. So in a certain store, 30% of the computers are Macs, 80% of the Macs are desktops, and 60% of the other computers. Now we could have said 60% of the rest, or 60% of the remaining. That's how you know that you can use this uh, tree diagram. So 60% of the other computers are desktops. What percent of all the computers are desktops? We're going to start with the total, but uh, no actual numbers are given. So we could put a variable like we did in the previous one, but if there's no numbers, meaning no, we're not told that there's 300 max or um, you know 40 non, non max PCs, let's say, we're just given percents, we can pick a number <clears throat> we can pick a number for the total that's going to make things easier. We can, we can just assume or imagine that there are 100 computers in the store. So in a certain store, 30% of the computers are Macs. So I'm going to say, okay, well, that just means that there's 30 Macs, which means that 70 are not Macs. 80% of the Macs are desktops. So 80% of 30 are desktops. That's going to be 24, which means that 6 are not desktops. And 60% of the other computers are desktops. So let me put that like <laughs> curving branches. So 60% so of this 70 up here, which is 42, are non-Mac desktops. And that means that 40% of that 70, because if 60% of the 70 are desktops, then the rest, or 40% of that 70, uh, which is going to be 28, are non-Mac, non-desktops. The question is, what percent of all the computers in the store are desktops? So we, if we have 42 um, non-Mac desktops, and we have, how many do we have Mac desktops are? 24, 42 plus 24 is 66 out of a total of 100, so that's 66%. This tells us that there are 60, that 66% of all the computers in the store are desktops. And we got that by picking 100 and then working through. So to recap, if you see word problems with fractions or decimals and the keywords remaining, remainder, or rest, then you can the easiest thing to do would be to, to deal with those questions to make a tree diagram. And sometimes even if you don't see those keywords, you can make a tree diagram. And you can make a tree diagram either if you know the total, or if you know some part, you can figure out the total, or if you're not given any concrete numbers, but you can pick your own numbers.